<laughs> so in honor of Boulder Startup Week, I'm going to talk about how I became a convert to the world of business and why. Before I was a partner in a small tech agency here in Boulder, I was a documentary film production manager, a photographer, and an editor. And business was something that I never thought that I would be involved with. To be honest, I was kind of biased against the idea of business. It felt like, sorry, a bunch of rich, greedy men. <laughs> and the source of a lot of the injustice and impression that we have in our world today. And I thought that if I did get involved with business, that the biggest obstacles for me would be around the numbers, the profit margin, the growth strategy, stuff like that. And it felt like just a bunch of faceless spreadsheets pushing for needless growth. However, I, na I naively also didn't understand business as something that could potentially be the source of a lot of joy and rich relationships and creativity. So as luck would have it, and not a small amount of wine on a friend's porch one evening, I did become a small business owner, and I found that the biggest obstacles, the biggest and actually juiciest obstacles weren't the numbers, it was the human elements of running a business. Things like how to engender trust with clients and employees, or how to accommodate strong emotions that come up when things get stressful. And I found that these things were actually the biggest determining factors in whether or not my business was going to succeed. It wasn't the numbers that made the business, it was the people. And, cute, right? <laughs> and so this is how I became a convert to the world of business, through this process of discovery. And I became actually, through this process, fanatical about my belief that business doesn't have to be part of the fabric of an economy of greed. It can actually be one of the fundamental building blocks of a saner and more equitable world. So it's not because I think that every business is gonna save our world by solving problems of hunger or energy use. It's because I believe that the way we build our businesses, our day-to-day -day operations, the cultures that we create, that those could actually contribute to a more wonderful and humane world. We spend so much time at work, more than we do with our families. And so I believe that businesses could really work to make that time quality time. And if we did that, we would have happier workers and more successful businesses. Some of the things that we've done at my business, go Dojo 4, uh, <laughs> or we became a B, a B Corp. If you don't know what that is, find out about it. Uh, we have a family-friendly workplace manifesto. But I think more than anything, what it's meant for us is trying to create an environment where people can bring their whole selves to work. Yeah. So I went on maternity leave and produced that. And while I was on maternity leave, I actually wrote a book about this because I've become so obsessed with this idea that we can actually build human businesses that are more sturdy and actually more profitable. And I'll leave you some of you will recognize Anthony Dimitri's work, a local, amazing local illustrator. I'll leave you with my most favorite tip from the book and what I think is the most powerful, which is to be generous. And what that means for me is not being reckless with your resources. It means being open. It means recognizing that there's inherent wealth in every situation. It means recognizing that what goes around comes around. And it means um, being, actually being present for what's happening. It means having a attitude of abundance rather than scarcity. It doesn't mean just being liberal with money. For us, it's meant being liberal with ideas, relationships, knowledge. And for me personally, it's meant things like when I'm quibbling with a client about who's right or wrong, just letting go and seeing the bigger picture. It's meant paying people as much as we can and it's meant opening our doors wide to the community. So I believe that if every business had a generosity policy in place, for whatever that means to each organization, that general wealth would increase, profits would go up and up, more people would have more money, and not only would our businesses be more successful, 
but so would our very lives.